at the MIT Lincoln Laboratory, interactive computer graphic systems have been subject to continuous research investigation under the sponsorship of the United States Air Force and the Advanced Research Projects Agency of the Department of Defense. This film will show how a recently developed online graphic system can be used for drawing pictures which represent computer programs. As a demonstration example, we will draw a program for finding square roots and then have the computer interpretively execute it. The first task is to draw a master symbol for representing the square root operation. The four moving dots are the light pen tracking cross. The light pen does not appear in these views filmed on a slaved monitor display. Note the system response of OK when endpoints are merged. The symbol is provided with an input terminal for data and one for control flow. And has output terminals for flow and the two data values which result from a square root calculation. The dual valued nature of the square root operation is explicitly represented. More lines are added to make the symbol suggest a square root operation. The master symbol is now complete and will be placed in a corner of the screen for future reference. The input and output terminals for this symbol must be explicitly declared. The terminals are given appropriate type designations of integer and flow. We will next make a test program using the square root symbol just drawn. We create a new picture called test by naming it on the keyboard and indicate that drawing is to take place in this picture. The symbols we are creating were pre-drawn, just like the square root symbol, and were called up by name from the keyboard. Flow input terminals are shown as triangles rather than dots. The significance of this convention will become evident later on in the film. The left hand operation represents the keyboard and allows us to type in values when running the test program. The right hand operation will display its input as text, enabling us to check the results of the square root calculation. After this operation is performed, a flow path will transfer control back to the type in operator. Data connections are shown as solid lines. With the operations connected together, we can set the test program aside for future reference. The test program must have a starting point designated, and this is accomplished by assigning the initial active flow path a value of flow obtained from the keyboard. Only the lack of a definition for the square root symbol prevents us from running this test program. One way of providing a definition would be to declare via the keyboard that this symbol is a known primitive operation. However, since the square root function does not happen to be a system primitive, we must create a definition program. Again, we indicate that drawing is to take place in a new picture called definition, which will specify the meaning of the square root symbol. As before, the desired symbols are specified by name from the keyboard.
From left to right, the symbols are a divide for calculating the square root, an inequality test and a flow switch to determine when to terminate the procedure, and an addition and divide averaging connection to calculate a new trial divisor. The multiplier at the top will invert the answer to provide the negative root. These symbols must be connected together to form the definition program. Notice how the system refuses to connect this flow terminal to a data terminal and gives an error response. A correct connection is allowed with an OK response. To conserve time, we will jump ahead and show the definition program with its connections almost completed. Initial data values for the definition are required. A value of 2 is typed in and assigned to the averaging divider. An initial trial divisor of 2 is also used. This initial trial divisor will pass down the data lines and be used at the inputs of all three connected operators. The inverting multiply gets a value of minus 1. In an examine mode, we can use dashed lines for showing how the terminals on the symbol and its definition match up. The steps required for matching the terminals on the definition and symbol pictures have not been shown. The basic symbol picture is no longer needed and can be removed by a typed command. The test program can now be started. We will use integer arithmetic and perfect squares as inputs for this demonstration and will run the program in a slow, single-step mode so that its operation can be observed. The blinking type-in box in the test program at the top indicates that an input may be typed. The value we type in, in this case 81, will not appear in the display. Pushing a button moves the program on to its next action. Note that the square root symbol, as well as the operations in the definition program, are now blinking. You can see the computational activity at two different program levels. Let us examine the output of this divide operation to see how the calculation is progressing. We can see that the value is 12. And then proceed with another iteration through the program. Finally, the trial divisor and the answer are equal. The iterations terminate, and we see the negative root minus 9 in the upper test program. Let us now change the way the definition program is connected by deleting two flow paths and reconnecting two branches in parallel.
program operation can be continued by typing 25 as a new but invisible input and then pressing the proceed button. As expected, two active flow paths are present together. Since the TX2 computer has only a single processor, the interpreter must simulate this parallel operation. If multiple processors were available, they could be used in parallel. The iteration terminates and, after inversion, we see the negative root in the upper test program. In many places, flow lines are paralleled by data lines. Data flow may be used to control the procedure sequencing and the explicit flow paths may be deleted. To maintain flow continuity between the flow input and output terminal, a dummy flow path is drawn between them. One output of the flow switch will control the averaging divide operation. In this configuration, new data flowing into an operator will activate the operator, provided all its inputs are defined. Execution of the test program continues with an unseen typed input of 49. There are now three parallel paths controlled by data flow. Even though the multiplier is active, its output will not be sent up to the test program until the computational activity in the definition program has finished. Now watch the sequencing error caused by data flowing out of the right-hand divide operation. These three flashing operations should not be active together. To correct this program error, we will use a special convention indicated by the triangle at input terminal. At these specially marked terminals, data values will be used by the operation and then destroyed instead of remaining available at the input terminal. Thus, new data values must arrive at these special input terminals before their operations can be done again. This convention has already been used at flow input terminals. We may now restart the test program, type in a value of 49, and continue on. The correct sequence of operations has now been obtained. When no more operations can be done, the procedure will terminate and the answer will appear. This simple example has shown how a symbol can be drawn, given a meaning, and included in a procedure. Different operator connections were shown with and without parallel flow paths and with and without explicit flow control paths. A second example will illustrate another kind of use for a drawn program. Here we see a pictorial program representing a simple control system consisting of sine wave source, limiter, and two monitor scopes. For this example, the graphic systems interpreter has been replaced by a simple compiler which will create executable machine code from this picture. Let us compile and then operate a simulation program for this system. The waveforms show the limiter input at the top and the clipped output at the bottom. Note the improvement in operating speed over the step-by-step -step interpretive operation of the square root example. Let us go back to the original system and modify it by adding an integrator and a feedback loop.
this operator and adder was automatically connected into the program by the computer and will combine the control and feedback signals. This second adder will be connected as an integrator. The third operation is an attenuator, which will be included in the feedback loop. When we have finished redrawing the program, it will be translated directly into an executable program, which is identical with the output from a conventional translator for a written version of the simulation language. The attenuator in the feedback loop gets a value of minus 0.7, which provides negative feedback around the limiter. We compile and run the new program and see that the output at the bottom is not clipped and that the limiter input is very small. The integrator provides the large unclipped output by summing the small undistorted values passed through the limiter. What effect would more feedback attenuation have on the control system? Let us find out by returning to the system program, changing the value to minus 0.25, and then running the simulation again. Both limiter input and system output are larger, just as one would predict. This film has shown how certain online graphical techniques can be applied to programming problems. The benefits to be derived from these methods include graphical formats for expressing algorithms, graphical debugging techniques, and the natural expression of parallel processes.